Hey guys, Benny Brosef here with a new update to the controller support program. This new version comes with a ton of new features and support for Path of Exile. This video is a quick start guide which will show you everything you need to know to get started immediately. If you're looking for a more in-depth guide on all the different features, check the description later on. I plan on putting together a video for that a little bit later. If you'd like to support development of this program, I'm also going to leave my PayPal donation link in the description. So the first thing we need to do is download the program. You can find the link for it down in the description. This will bring you to the GitHub release page for the project. If I release any other updates, they'll also be located here, so check back later. From this page, all we need to do is click the Assets dropdown, and then click on version 4.0.zip. Go ahead and extract the new zip file anywhere you'd like. I recommend putting it into My Documents. Once it's extracted, you should see some files similar to this. However, before we run the program, there's a few steps we need to take care of in Diablo 3 and Path of Exile. Let's start with Diablo 3. The first thing we need to do is make sure the application is in windowed mode or borderless windowed mode. This ensures that the targeting reticule and the image overlay will be visible during gameplay. You can use a script without it, but it's much harder to aim skills that way. The second thing we want to do is make sure that force move and close all windows is bound to the spacebar and the P button respectively. For Path of Exile we want to do something similar. Ensure the application is also in windowed or borderless window mode. And next, I recommend setting the T hotkey to be your move only action. Once that's taken care of, let's go ahead and launch the configuration form.exe. From the two dropdowns, pick the game that you're going to be playing, and then the keybindings that you want to use. You'll want to select Set Profile once the selected profile loads, and then select the keybinding that you're using and click Set Keybindings. If you're using the default keybindings in the game you're playing, then you're already good to go. Otherwise, open the Keybindings INI from the dropdown and follow the provided documentation within the configuration program. I plan on releasing an in-depth guide for this application later on. Next, let's go ahead and click Launch in the configuration program. This will launch the script. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put up the default keybindings for Diablo 3. I'd like to go ahead and talk about a couple of special key bindings that you can see on the screen. The first one is on the back button, and that's called inventory mode. Whenever you're in inventory mode, the D-pad controls the mouse in a grid-like fashion. It makes it super easy to navigate the inventory. Another special key binding can be found when holding the Y button. This one's called loot and all it does is spam left click at the center of the screen. This is useful for picking up loot while walking over it. Cursor mode allows the left stick to control the mouse freely rather than in a circle, and right stick does the same except for the targeting reticule. Finally, we have the guide button, which will go ahead and swap the controls of the sticks. This will make the left stick control the targeting reticule and the right stick control the mouse. The last thing I'd like to mention is a few key features to the program. Some actions in Diablo 3 and Path of Exile are less targeted skills and more movement abilities. Things like the Demon Hunter Vault and Barbarian Whirlwind skills don't work so well as targeted skills. All you need to do is remove it from the list of targeted actions and put them into the movement actions list instead. This way, the skill will fire off in the direction you're trying to move instead of at the target reticule. If you don't use Diablo 3 or Path of Exile's default key bindings, you'll obviously want to edit those in their respective key bindings I and I. However, you may also want to head over to the Image Overlay tab in the Profile INI. This will ensure that the key binding images match as well. Also, if you have a non-16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor, you'll most likely want to check out the Inventory tab of the Profile INI and set some custom scaling values. 
That's it for this guide. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to support development of this program, you can find my donation link in the description. I'm not sure when I'll be making a, the more in-depth overview of the program, but it will be uploaded to this channel when it's done. Remember that any new versions will be posted to the GitHub release page. Be sure to comment below with suggestions for the program or bugs that you find, as I wasn't able to test every setting and configuration out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.